nowadays with quantum physics, you know, they're really showing, uh, some of you saw that movie, What the Bleep Do We Know? It was, it was showing that, that there's thoughts in consciousness and they're reflected in, in things like peptides and chemicals in the brain. And those chemicals influence, you know, how you feel in the body. If you're feeling pleasure, pain, if you're feeling horny, if you're feeling hungry, if you're feeling thirsty, it's all starting with thoughts and consciousness and beliefs, and then it's getting reflected in the chemistry in the brain, and then it's getting reflected in the body, but now quantum physics is taking one more step. They're saying, no, you know, the people that you meet and the environment that you perceive isn't out there. We always were taught that, you know, the sound waves came in through the ear and hit the eardrum and then impulses came to the brain, uh, all backwards. These are not receivers. We've been taught, we've been brainwashed to believe that the ears are like receiving mechanisms. Even the way they're shaped, they would always teach us that the sound waves are out there in the world and that they come in. These are like speakers, like this. The sounds that you hear in the world are coming, starting off with thoughts in your consciousness, then moving is, is brainwaves, and the body is more like the projector. The body's eyes are like, like little lenses and projectors, and everything you perceive as light, they used to teach us light coming in through, through into the retina and it being reversed and then sending the impulses in and teaching us that we saw with external stimuli coming in. Now quantum physics is showing, and they certainly demonstrated it in What the Bleep, that no, it's completely reversed, that the body, the eyes, the ears, these are projectors of, of the stimuli. They're just, it's an outward picture of an inward condition that starts with consciousness, then it goes, gets projected onto body chemicals, and I know uh, when I was doing that one-on-one -on -one with, with Maria Beatrice, she was like, but what about the, the cells in the body? And don't they hold the memory during? No, the body is, is part of the projection as well. It's the, it's the mind where these distortions and memories are. And even the chemistry in your body that seems to have a direct effect on how you feel is just a projection of these thoughts. Everything starts and ends in consciousness and the body and the world are just projections as we've been talking about. And that when you clear away the, the false concepts in your mind and the beliefs, and you co clear consciousness completely, then you do see a whole new world. Like the song says, a new fantastic point of view. Because it's all starting on the inside and getting projected out. That's why nobody makes you feel bad. Like the children say, you hurt my feelings, you make me mad. Uh, Mom, he did this, he makes me, I'm, I'm unhappy because of what he did. You know, it's all backwards. And the mom was put out there by the projector, and the kids, and all the people, and the environment, and the sun, and everything that's part of the environment, and the entire cosmos is projected out from an inward picture. And there's only one ego. There's not six billion separate little egos that are each projecting. It's like all those bodies are all part of the one projection. And there's only one mind dreaming. And that's why Jesus says in the Course, when I awoke, you were with me. Because people have asked me that question for years. It's like, well, if Jesus already woke up, why are we still here dreaming? And it's like, and I hear Course in Miracles teachers and say, we all, we all, we all. Who's the we all? Who is the we all? There is no we all. As long, you know, one teacher said, uh, they, asked, they asked him, does God know about any of this? And the teacher said, God doesn't know about us. Who's the us that God doesn't know about? Of course God doesn't know about the us. Because there aren't an us. <laughs> You know, it's not there. God knows Christ, God knows oneness, God knows eternity, 